Good morning, hello, and welcome to the Who GP. It's 2.35 in the morning right now. I'm getting ready to go to work, but actually, I'm really excited about it because I have got a new toy. So I have a new desk, happy days. You're probably not as excited about it as I am, but this thing is cool. I've been wanting to get a new one of these literally for years. It's called a Rotoclip Round. Rotoclip, because that's the brand, round because the inserts are actually round, and these are fantastic for modeling. So doing that dishing out thing in the claws, or the feet. It is a really, really aggressive disc. It's probably the most aggressive disc there is on the market, but that's actually why I wanted it, because I like a disc that I can model with and do a lot of work, so that the cow is in the crush for as little time as possible. I've had a little play with it on some wood, just to get a feel for it, but the real proof in the pudding is gonna be when I'm trimming the cow's feet. Using a new disc like this is always slightly nerve wracking, even for me, who is trimming hundreds and hundreds of cows every single week. I need to be seriously careful, but I cannot wait to get started. But if I like my disc, why bother getting a new one? Well, this is a Trimtech Titan Titanium, and actually the disc I use has got a thing called LX and Rim Cut. That means that it's more aggressive than normal, and you can actually cut on the edge of the disc. The only trouble is, they stopped making them, and Trimtech, for some reason, have changed the formulation of their blades, so they're getting blunt really quickly, and they're starting to break much more rapidly than they used to. So I thought, let's change it up, get a roto clip, and see how we get on. You might also have noticed that this is a corded grinder, and we're always using the cordless ones lately. Well, I thought we could just use this one on the back feet, and that way, we're not running out of batteries all the time. The batteries we do have can be used purely on the front feet, which means we won't have to charge any while we're actually out working during the day. Don't get me wrong, the cordless ones are fantastic. They're definitely more safe. They've got plenty of power. Actually, the batteries do last fairly well, but you do still have to recharge them during the day. This bad boy means we shouldn't have to recharge them, but the cable might get in the way. So we'll see how it goes. Okay, so first impressions are completely different from what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be really, really super aggressive. This isn't that aggressive at all so far. So hopefully as the day goes on, maybe I'll come to terms with that. Maybe it'll become more aggressive once the newness wears off. I don't know. Let's see how it goes.
Please don't take this the wrong way I'm on your side Through the worst days I just have to say I miss my best friend Seeing her smile Still I don't mind telling truth So let's talk about this. Well, this little puppy here, it gives it a really, really smooth cut. I was told it was the most aggressive wheel that they've got, and everybody told me Rotoclip is really, really aggressive. But I think the people who say that maybe haven't tried a Trimtech LX rim cut because they are far more aggressive than this is, or so far. Since I started using it this morning, it's actually become sharper. So some of the newness has worn off it, and it's cutting much better than it was this morning, but still definitely not as aggressive as a trim tech. That said, it is really nice. You can model with it really well, but it doesn't cut on the back of the wheel, and that is my biggest issue so far. I'm always, always using the back of the trim tech disc. And by the way, I'm not sponsored by either Rotoclip or trim tech. I could have been, but I decided not to so that I could tell you guys the honest opinion or my honest opinion. So yeah, you can't cut with the back of these discs. That's really hindering me when I come in here to trim the toe back to the right length because I'm having to flip the whole grinder over here and come away around here and it feels more dangerous and it doesn't feel quite as fluid or quite as natural. But I'm going to persevere with it for a while and see what I think after a week. Here is the perfect example. With the trim tech, if this wheel had a problem there, like cracking, I could touch the inside of the toe and use the back side. I can't do that with this. I would have to turn it all the way around here. So now the blade is facing me, which really doesn't feel safe. So I would end up doing it with a knife. Yeah, that's fine, but it's much quicker, easier, and you'd usually do a neater job if you can use the back side of the blade. So it's a thumbs down from that point of view. Welcome to day two! So yesterday I trimmed about 65 cows I think, so about 120 feet with the Rotoclip disc and to begin with I was really unimpressed but I decided to make sure I give it as fair a test as possible so like I say I've trimmed 120 feet and I'm starting to feel more comfortable with it. I'm still really not sure about not being able to use the back side of the disc so I'm using it all today, so we should be trimming about 60 or 70 cows again today. So that will definitely give it a really thorough test. It actually feels a lot, lot sharper now that the blades have worn in a little bit. So that's definitely feeling nice and you can model with it really, really nicely. So today I'm gonna still trim the back feet with it, but I'm also gonna trim front left and front right feet quite a bit more than I did yesterday, because obviously that matters as well. And believe it or not, the disc has different capabilities on different feet, as in with the trim tech, I'll use the back side on the front right foot, but not on the front left foot. So let's crack on with today and see how it goes. And we're back to good fine Scottish weather. The rain's coming sideways. So if we look more closely at this disc, you can see where the cutouts are on the back of it. That is to allow the horn fragments to dissipate away from the disc so that they're not just flying anywhere and everywhere. And if we look at it in this view, you can clearly see the inserts sticking down on the bottom side of the disc, but not on the top side. And then if we look at the Trimtech Titan, this is the one with LX and rim cut. So you can see those blades stick down just that little bit more and actually the corner of the blades are more exposed. This disc also has cutouts on the back to throw away the fragments of horn. And then if we look at the traditional Titan disc, you can clearly see the edge of it is much thicker, which means that less of that blade is actually protruding out of the side of the disc. So you can't really cut with the edge, hence the term rim cut for the other disc. Again, this disc looks very, very similar to the rim cut one, but actually it performs very differently. 
Stacking all three blades like this side by side and showing them end on really does show the differences in where the blade sits within that actual disc. Look at the purple one, it only sits on the bottom side of the blade. The middle one, more of the corner is actually protruding out of the disc and the end one shows on both sides of the disc but doesn't stick down quite as much as that middle disc. I often get asked about the difference in weight between a cordless grinder and a corded one and my reply has always been that there actually isn't that much weight difference. But actually I can completely confirm that is not correct. After working with them both side by side, the corded grinder is much much lighter. It really does cause less fatigue but the trade off is it's not quite as safe because that cord's there and it's definitely not as manoeuvrable. So I'm going to trim these feet so we can compare exactly the different ways in which they model. First up, roll cut. So we're aiming to model out this nice and wide and then do a deep model on this side. You can see it does model out quite well, but you can't get it seriously deep. I think that's because the inserts are round, so obviously you're limited to how round the diameter or circumference of the insert actually is. Next foot. So next up, this is the Trimtech Titan Titanium, but it doesn't have LX or rim cuts, so it's got a fatter bit on the outside of the blade basically. So you can see I can use the back of the blade on this, which is what I did on the inside claw and the front on that outside claw. Did I just spit when I was speaking? Oh, I did just spit that. Nice. Anyway, now we'll try and model it with the trim tech type. So again, we want a wide model on the outer one and a narrower one on the inside claw. Now you can see this disc is actually struggling to model far more than this. This is definitely better at modeling. If you can see in here you can actually see scraping marks. That's because the disc is actually rubbing against the surface of the horn because I'm really pushing it in there trying to take out that horn in a, in a deep sort of modeling motion. This side I cannot model really at all. It's just an essence of model. So we'll have to actually model this one with the knife. Next up is the Trimtech Titan Titanium with LX and Rimco. Let's see how this one gets on modelling out a cow's foot. So I don't know how clear that is, but the disc with the LX and rim cut from Trimtech definitely models out the easiest, the deepest, and the most precisely. Take a look at this one. So out of the three discs, we have a Trimtech Titan with LX and rim cut. We have a Trimtech Titan, and we have the Roto Clip three blade round. 
And my favourite of the three is definitely the Titan with rim cut and LX. So in other words, the most aggressive disc that Trimtech did. The only problem is they don't do it anymore. For some reason, they've completely stopped making them and I can't buy any more. Maybe time to get my own made. More to come. And with that said, I really, really hope this video wasn't too boring for you. Me personally, I find this kind of thing really, really interesting, but I'm a complete hoof nerd. Guys, thank you very, very much for watching. You know how much it means to me, and hopefully you'll comment and tell me what you liked about the video, what you didn't like about the video, and what you'd like to see in the future. Cheers for watching, guys. Bye-bye.